Alright guys, Assalamualaikum Today I will be teaching you guys how are we going to edit this picture Alright, uh, basically I've promised some of you guys to make this video So without further ado, I'm going to teach you guys how I edit this photo from this to this Alright, uh, first of all, I want to tell you guys that Every photographers have their very own style so the creativity is come from yourself the more you take photos the more you make the errors the more you try and errors the more bad photos you take it will make you a better photographer so first of all I'm going to hit the reset button here so we can go through this picture together uh, as you can see here, this is my presets. I made a lot of presets, but uh, this is my favorite 15 presets. So if you like to have it, if you want to have it, you can go to the description below and click uh, buy my presets down there. Again, so I hit the reset button. All right. Uh, I want to tell you something. Most of photographers, they tend to edit the camera calibration first. I don't know why, but uh, for me, the camera calibration I've already carried ca uh, I have all it I've already calibrated my camera to the one that I've desired so uh, I don't really touch this camera calibration so uh, the first thing usually I do is the tone curve first of all I'm going to take this first uh, point over here and just playing around you know, I don't really remember the settings that I made for the picture you looked earlier but I try my best to make it look alike for the sake of time I'm going to teach you guys roughly how I edit those photos let's make a second point over here um, I don't know, I just trying to get my memory back I didn't remember much but I try my best bring you guys to that particular setting that I've made so bear with me okay so the picture is looks the picture looks horrible I know but bear with me just bear with me so you can see that the picture is going to be a little bit different so Here's a quick tip, if you want to see the before and after, you just hit the backslash on your keyboard. So that's the before and that's the after. Alright, let's move on to the basic uh, section here. As I see this picture is not that hot, so I'm going to increase this temperature to a little bit higher, around 7 to 8. 7, I think 7 is okay and I'm going to increase the thin also to make the cool feeling so this picture is not too blown out but I just want to increase just a little bit 12, 0.12 12, uh, are too much for me and maybe I go to 0.10 yeah 0.10 is much more better so I'm gonna stick with it and contrast is to bring up the contrast lah so I'm going to just scroll just tweak this to the thing that I think is okay if to 55 yeah and highlight I used to drop to 100 but but from this picture I see this 100 is too much maybe around 95 is okay so I'm going to increase a little bit of the shadow here um, something around here 67 is nice yeah 67 is nice and I'm going to take back the white color because as you can see here this uh, this thing is blowing so I'm going to take a little bit of the white color around yeah 79 so one thing I want to tell you guys one secret about myself I hate even number so bear with me I'm basically I use odd number so 
just bear with me okay i love to see five seven nine three one i hate to see zero two four six eight that is definitely not my favorite so my favorite number is odd number that's my secret okay so just just chilling with you guys don't don't put tense on yourself just enjoy this video and we're going to go through this together okay so i'm going to continue with with this tutorial so we can see here the black so the black is to control the amount of uh, the dark color inside this photo so if this is your style so I'm not gonna blame you but this is not my style so I'm going to change this thing a little bit so and around not that much around 10 11 how about 9? Yeah, negative 9. Negative 9 is much more better. Okay. So, this picture you can see is a lot more nicer than before, but not too crunchy. I love crunchy pictures. So, I'm going to go to the uh, clarity section here, to the clarity, clarity, I don't know, clarity bar here. So, I'm going to increase some clarity to make it more crunch so around 50 to 60 maybe 52 yeah 52 is okay not not every time i hate the even number but most of the time i don't like even number so yeah 52 is okay and i'm going to increase the vibrant vibrant and saturation you have to you have to find the combination between this vibrant and saturation so sometimes you have to increase the vibration sometimes you have to increase the saturation and reduce the vibration but uh, for this picture I think I just want to increase I think I just want to increase the vibration around a uh, vibration pula sorry for the vibrance and the saturation you have to find the combination because it's uh, both of it are related to each other so sometimes you have to uh, increase the saturation sometimes you have to increase the vibrance it's, it's really depends on you so for this picture i think i'm going to increase the vibrance a little bit around i don't know maybe 17 yeah 17 is okay and i'm going to tweak a little bit about this saturation or, or maybe just left it to zero okay now we move on to the HSL section and color basically I'm not using the HSL section because I want to be specified what color I'm going to tweak so I'm using the color section so you can see here there is red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, purple, blue, whatsoever, magenta uh, if you want to see which part of the photos that uh, affected by this uh, color you can just choose one of these three thing here just tweak so you can see that there is a difference here here I'm going to reduce the the hue in here around 13 okay 13 is fine I'm going to increase a little bit of this saturation, not too much, just a little bit subtle, 2 is fine. And I'm going to increase a little bit of the luminosity, around 60, 59, 50 is fine, 50, 50 is good. So, move on to the orange. So, as I said before, you want to see which part of your photos are affected, so you can tweak like that, okay. So I'm going to reduce the hue here around 22, no, 22 is too much I think, uh, but okay, it's, it's not that bad. So I'm going to increase the luminance a little bit, a little bit subtle, it's okay but I'm going to reduce this, yeah, this is nice. So, uh, moving forward to the, don't see any yellow much in this picture, so we're moving on to aqua. I'm going to increase 
this here a little bit around 40 to 40 40 is fine 41 how about 41 <laughs> 41 okay with 41 then we are going to blue and purple so i'm going to speed up this a little bit right so we are done at the hsl section so we are going to moving on to the split toning section here split toning columns here the split toning basically is for adjusting your highlight and shadow colors if let's say the highlights are too bright to white so you want to change it to become much more warm or cool feeling so you can adjust in this split toning section so first of all i'm going to increase this saturation a little bit just to just to see what happened to my picture as i tweak this back and forth so you can see that you can see the difference so i'm going to put around 200 something to see much more cold looking photos and I'm going to change this um, shadows also uh, alright okay that's nice just nice I think it looks much more better from the the one that I show you from the beginning of this video so yeah that's all um, I'm not gonna touch the uh, sharpening and uh, vignetting this picture because uh, this picture is just nice for me so you can see the before and after just by clicking the backslash just by hitting the backslash okay you can see the before and after or you want to see it side by side you just press Y so it have the uh, it has the function to show you side by side or you want to make uh, want to see the split hit the shift y i don't know what for mac i never used mac before so i think it's still same that's it guys thank you for watching and i hope that you like my video uh, subscribe if you aren't already hit that like button if you feel so desired comment something down there let me know if you want to ask me something if you want to know something just write something in the comment section to let me know what you want to know and whatever thing that I think that I can help I will be helping you guys through videos or I just reply in the comment section below thank you so much guys for watching I really really appreciate you guys so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video Wazamba.